In this video, I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Combining Functions Advanced. We're given two functions here, f of x and g of x, and we're asked to find f plus g and f times g, and also to give their domains in interval notation. So I will start with f plus g, and here we are taking the f function and adding the g function. So looking back, the f function is 2x squared plus 5x, and then we are adding the g function, which is 5x minus 2. And from here, we should see if any of these will simplify. And I can combine like terms with the two 5x terms. So that would give me the 2x squared from above. 5x plus 5x would be a plus 10x. And then bringing down the minus 1, this would be our f plus g function. Since we were also asked for the domain, looking at this function, there are no square roots that would limit what we could plug in. So for example, we wouldn't be able to plug in a negative into a square root function. There's also no denominators, so we don't have to worry about eliminating something that would give us a zero denominator. So our domain here is all reals. So in interval notation, I would say that this is negative infinity to positive infinity. All right, now moving to the second question, we're also asked to find f times g. So again, starting with our f function, which is 2x squared plus 5x. Since we are going to multiply this with g, I'm going to put it in parentheses, and then I'll also copy down the g function in parentheses, so 5x minus 1. From here, we can simplify. We have two binomials being squared. So I can start with the 2x squared, multiply by the 5x. That would give us a 10x to the third. Next, multiply the 2x squared times the minus 1 as a minus 2x squared. Then distributing the 5x would give us 5x times 5x, a plus 25x squared and then 5x times minus 1 minus 5x. From here, I can see that these middle terms are like terms and can also be added. So just bringing down the 10x cubed, the minus 2x squared plus 25x squared would be plus 23x squared. Bringing down the minus 5x, since there are no like terms there, we have our simplified f times g function. And again, for the domain, there are no square roots or denominators that would limit the domain. So we would have negative infinity to positive infinity. 